In some cases, your My Self Serve profile will become inactive. For example, if you are no longer receiving income or disability assistance. If you log in to an inactive profile on My Self Serve, the system will retrieve your previous profile information and ask you to verify that the information is still current. Once your profile has been verified, you must visit a local office to have your profile linked to your income or disability assistance file. This in-person process ensures that your information is protected. Verifying your profile will not reopen your file. Visit www.iaselfserve.gov.bc.ca for information on applying for income assistance. Log in to My Self Serve using your basic BCE ID. You will be directed to the Verify Your Profile page. If you use a different BCE ID than before, you will need to create a new profile. See the how-to video creating a new My Self Serve profile for step-by-step -step help. Your first and last name will appear. Update your name if needed. This information will be used to help locate your income or disability assistance file when you come into your local office to link your profile. Your email address will appear. Update your email address if needed. Important notifications are sent to this email, so be sure to provide an email address that you check regularly and add My Self Serve to your safe list in your email program. To ensure these notifications don't end up in your junk mail folder, see the FAQs for help on adding My Self Serve to your safe list. Next, create and enter a new passcode. If you remember your previous code, you can reuse it. This code is used as your electronic signature, so you should never share it with anyone. Select a code that is easy for you to remember. Your code must be at least 6 characters long, but cannot be more than 10 characters long. The passcode is not case sensitive. Your date of birth will appear. Update your date of birth if needed. This information will be used to help locate your income or disability assistance file when you come into your local office to link your profile. Your social insurance number will appear. Update your social insurance number if needed. Providing your social insurance number is optional. This information allows the ministry to match your profile to the appropriate ministry file faster than if you choose not to provide this information. It is important to read the terms and conditions for using My Self Serve. If you agree with the terms and conditions, click the I Accept button. My Self Serve will save your verified profile. If you do not agree with the terms and conditions, click the I Decline button. If you choose I Decline or exit without accepting the terms by closing the browser window, none of the verified profile information you entered will be saved. You must re-verify your profile information the next time you log in. Once you have accepted the terms and conditions, My Self Serve will display the profile created confirmation screen. This screen provides information on the next step reminding you that you must visit a local office to have your identity verified and your profile linked to your income or disability assistance file. Important: Information you provide in your profile will not update the ministry's records. To learn how to change your name, address, or any other information on your file, visit the FAQs.